Welcome to the 2022 Monster Jam World Finals, home of the RC Monster Jam World Finals, right here at the Pit Party. Let's get it on. All right, we're ready to kick it off. It's freestyle time. Dust is below the Baku Khan Dragonoid. He'll be the first truck to hit the track. It rains, it's muddy, it's sloppy. We're ready to get wild and crazy. Justice below, clock will start on your first hit. And we're off and running, big air over the pad, a little slap really on the landing there for Dustin. And Bakugan Dragonoid begins his run. A lot of different angles out there for the drivers to hit, big time Sky really takes up a slap really on the landing. Another slap, oh yeah, the front end way up in the air of the Bakugan Dragonoid on a two minute freestyle run. 20 seconds into it right now. Oh, you use that double ice lead. Oh, backflip and rolls in over. Our track marshal will get him. Oh, he takes a wheelie after that track marshal rolls back over. Baku Gun Dragonoid starting us off. Looking for that double. And again, yeah, down ramps that perfect over that pad. You're gonna see big air, you're gonna see the backflips, you're gonna see two wheels, you're gonna see everything here as they're going for it. Here he comes, look out, Dustin's below the Baku Oh, he's got two wheels on pad, saves it. Kicks into a wheelie, here's some two wheel skill section in that run. Coming up on one minute down, one minute to go, just past the halfway mark in his run is Dustin. Oh, rolls it over in the corner there on the pad, trying to guess it and pull it back over. Couldn't make it happen for him. And through the mud he goes. We're mud bogging here today, too. Oh, rolls it over. A lot of time to time winding down here. 30 seconds left in this run. About 30 seconds right now. 30 seconds left in the Bobby John Dragon. Like Dustin trying to finish strong. He gets some big air across the pad. And hits it again. Oh, stoppy reaction there. That's hard to do with these RC trucks. Throws it in reverse. Throws it over in the dirt. 15 seconds, this one's gonna wind up running out the clock. He flips it over, 150 on it. Last couple moves. And that's his time. Oh, that's Dragon, the next truck up here, Jeremy Bunting. Starts off with Big Eddie from California. Oh, this little cross up. Dragon. Working the pad on the back side of the track. Nice job for Jeremy. Right here is a low seat LMT. You can get that right from Horizon Hobby, your local hobby store. Oh, looks like Jeremy has a link hanging right there. The left rear floor form link bar looks like it's hanging on the dragon. That's a, that will definitely make controlling that close to the LMT Monster Jam truck a little more typical, especially in slippery conditions. But he's giving it all he can. Rolls it back over again. Track marshal there to get him. And the dragon continuing his freestyle run. Oh, great little flip in the gas right there to pull that front back on the floor. Halfway down with his run. One minute down, one minute to go. He's tearing it up out there on his rear two tires. Yanking that, have a body start to come loose. That awesome custom draw. Oh, he loses a, a beadlock ring on one of his wheels. Now we're starting to see some carnage here, ladies and gentlemen. The dragon, link hanging, body hanging. He's not quitting. Gotta love the effort on the part of Jeremy Bunting and Dragon. Oh, big time air gets it landed in the mud. About 15 seconds left in his run. He's got time for one or two more moves. What can he do here? To the center, right in the worst part of the mud. Whoa, big jump over the backside. And then around out the run for Jeremy Bunting in Dragon. And the score comes in at a 6.0 even. It's a 6 score even slotting him into second place just behind the Baku Contract for it in Justice Balone.
Currently reserved and free to get their trucks dirty. They're going for it here. It's a Monster Jam World Finals. It's a place to go for it. Jessica Dahl in the Whiplash. She's going to be our next competitor out. Whiplash in the track. That big Ben Willie coming on. Jessica Dahl, a California driver. Oh, pulls off a little backflip save right there. She's going for the sky wheel. Whiplash. Yeah, big air. Gets that front end high up in the air at the top end of the track. Jessica, a skilled freestyler, and she's ready to rock the house. Really the cross. Oh, pulls the slap really right towards you. Lots of hands, man. It's a great job for Jess there. Great tumble. Gets it right back on all fours. No quick in this girl here. She's going for it. Nice two wheel save. The wrestle is back down. Oh, she pulls. Oh, yeah. What a save. Buck the saves save. in a row there. Incredible. Jessica Dahl turning this thing on in Whiplash. Yeah, get another wheeling back to the tap right there. Wheeling across it again. Yeah, back on all fours a second time. No track marshal leader so far for this big bad Willie. She's rocking and rolling here. One minute down, one minute remaining. Halfway through her run. Look at her wheeling right into that stack, tumble it, and keep going. And she's really battling now because I don't believe she has steering control on that truck. Maybe a link hanging in the servo, and she rolls it on over. So making something out of a broken truck right here, that's where you're seeing the skill come in with these RC Monster Jam drivers. Remember, in RC Monster Jam, we flip them over as many times to get the action in in two minutes. That should be considered in the scoring by the fans. She's had numerous saves here, a lot of saves. 30 seconds remaining in this run for Jessica. She's trying to work in a reverse zone, and again, she does not have steering control of that Monster Jam truck, but she's doing the best she can. She's going for it right there. A whiplash. Wheel standing. Oh, backflip. A nice, clean, beautiful backflip over the pad in the front part of the track. Great job, Jessica. And that is going to round out her time. Comes Turbo Velocity. Oh, big air. Pulls out of it, too. Yeah, back on all fours. That's a new picture presence right there. Oh, yeah. When the name of your company is Freestyle RC, you're going to throw it down. Josh Zimmerman, these guys out of Wisconsin, they make their own axles, gear cases, transmissions, chassis, links, they make it all. And then they come out here to burn it down with the big air. Tumbles and tumbles and he's put a 
going on move after move. And that is some of the bigger part of my life. And you might have ever felt in that escape with so much money going on the air. Bad boy on the air. Son of a dicker. Oh, that's when he lands on the roof and strikes the pad. Frank Martin's on the end. Over the double, right on the nose, throwing mud all over the scoring scores over here, and that's going to end his run. A spectacular finish, absolute prank. That run in right here. It's time for the Jester Lane. It's Tony Cece driving Jester. Big air to start off announcing his presence. Travis trying to come out big. Truck, those axles take a beating, and he nails that front flip. Double back flip, he nails it on the back axle again. So Tony Cece coming out big time here with Chester. 30 oh, seconds down, a minute 30 left. Massive air. Sometimes it's nice to see that truck fly nice and straight to just appreciate how high that RC truck is up in the air. Lands that one perfect, and another great time. These are high-powered trucks, and it is tough to control them in the air. You don't just sing it off the ramp. You have to have throttle rhythm and control to make sure that truck flies through the air. Oh, another backflip there. One minute down, one minute remaining, and that's right. The more they're on the throttle, the truck will want a backflip. The more they let it coast through the air, it's a break just like that. The nose will come over, and that's how you'll drive it through the truck. Remain 20 seconds. A tough one to get there, right in the center of the mud, not requiring a lot of flip. This has got to be a high score and a big threat to take your lead away from that goal. Oh, Again, another amazing big time backflip. The truck corner with mud. The truck dragging the rear axle, which is going to front drive now. And so he's hanging it all out, and that'll conclude his run. Let's hear it for the Jester! Cody ZZ and Jess are putting in work here at our RC World Finals. Oh, look at that!
Ethan saw the judges really respond to Tony, Cece, and Chester get that monster big air. He's trying to do the same thing right off the bat and say, hey, I can get the big air too, just like Chester. One of the top drivers on the New York Tour won the 2019 Point Series Championship, and BKT, Ethan is on it. Big air there, slaps it up, the two-wheel save, another kick of the gas, and pulls it right back down. Oh, a hard hit the rear, but just a pure away to save. Ethan, one of the best racers out here, not afraid to throw it down and freestyle off the big jump right there. He hit the brakes to bring the nose back down. One minute down, one minute remains. Big air. 
Quick reaction right there to pull the truck out of a bad toast. I big air tumbling on all fours. Earth Shaker on his way. And we've already got parts hanging down in the back. At least a four link bar. That's going to make it difficult to continue. That thing digging into the dirt. Mike had a great first freestyle. But the truck is very hurt, actually preventing all four tires from getting down. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Spray it on the nose and pulls it out with a hurt truck. Michael Lynch with some tough brakes here with breakage, but he's not quitting. That poorly bar is literally vertical into the mud and help and preventing. Oh, he gets the first one. He's got it going. Hurt Shaker trying everything he can to make a run out of it. Trying to go to the top spot, but he's, he's giving it all he can. Under a minute remains for Mike. He's doing the best he can to keep the truck moving and in motion for the fans. He's just somehow getting that thing up in the air. Extremely difficult to do with the way it is broken. A lot of these drivers can get very creative with the way that their trucks break. Remember in World Finals 2, they held in the field with bulldozer and make a three-wheel run. Pretty spectacular. That's exactly what Mike was trying to do here with the red shaker. When you walk over, you check these trucks out of the table, you see how nicely crafted and how much effort goes into making one of these machines. Not an easy thing to do to tear one up like this and know how much effort it's going to take to put back together. But Michael, just continuing to pound Earthshaker into the ground and have absolutely no regard for parts. He's making it work a little bit right there. Oh, there it went. And Earthshaker, that, oh, right there, that run will end it right there. Earthshaker came here, we got a few Marshall Camp fans, make some noise for Michael Letcher from California. Ethan Saunders, Avenger! Ethan crawling out onto the track, wheelies right into that ramp. And he's trying to keep it on all four wheels here. Can he do it? Yes, he does. Skillful driving on a car. He's on again on two wheels. Yeah, that truck's got a lot of power. And that buzz, that grip right there is really presenting a challenge for Ethan. He's already on his end later early. He's going to have to make up for that. Wow, Mud already facing oh. the front of that beautiful Avenger oh, truck. That is the that truck. That does not sound good. The truck is hurt. Maybe something in the rear end of the truck. Maybe an axle, but he's still going for it. Avenger, not going to quit here. These drivers wanted to go so big, so early. Ethan really built up the, the energy there, but there's a tough luck. Looks like he's got no rear drive in that truck. Yeah, definitely working through some mechanical problems there. Ethan Saunders, a real hard landing on that back axle, and looks like the back axle has quit on him, but he's not quitting on that truck. The Avenger kicked with mud, and Ethan Saunders going for it. Oh, yeah, gets it back on all fours after nailing it right into that pad. All the rain last night, we came here, put a ton of effort into getting this track ready to go today. It actually is working out for freestyle. Look at that thing encased in mud. These aren't shiny toys. These are freestyle machines. And Ethan, oh, with 50 seconds left, is doing his best. Out of the Avenger. Without those rear tires pulling, this thing's really having a hard time getting the speed for the big air. But that's called being creative, throw it in reverse, and trying to get a rear donut going. And we got about five seconds left in the run. Ladies and gentlemen, give Ethan Saunders a hand for filling the clock with a hurt truck and having a hell of a lot of cleaning up to do, and Dad's got some broken parts to fix. Jason. And on the track, representing the Hard Sock family from Florida, Greg Reap and Slinger! Considered in this 
scoring. Look at him tear that thing up. The J Concept Slinger. There's no point in the Slinger here this afternoon. seconds remain in what's shaping up to be a threat to take the lead from Jester and Tony CC. He wants some impact. He wants some encouragement. He's playing to the crowd. He wants some encouragement. He backs up the starting line. Here we go. Oh. Fred Flintstone and the Jester Slinger. Here we go. Fred first one to really try to pump the crowd and get them involved here. 25 yeah. seconds remaining. Oh, he long darts it. Can he get it back up this time? Remember, Fred hasn't had them in flipped over yet. Well, let's hear it one more time for Fred Reef. Reef, 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 Reef,